What's going on guys? It's your boy Symbiot Addiction 22 coming at you with another live video today and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different so I am going to be doing a costume review today um, however it's not going to be any Spider-Man Venom Symbiot suit review type things today is actually going to be a WWE costume review um, most people actually haven't done this before I've searched on the internet I have searched on YouTube and no one's ever done this so I figured I myself be the first one to do this so I'm going to be doing a costume review on Kane so if you guys haven't noticed they actually have his 97 98 suit on HalloweenCostumes.com um, they have him on eBay they have him on I think Etsy too I think I'm not too sure but they have him on those websites so you guys can get them on there but um yeah so I had recently bought this maybe a couple weeks ago it came in about last week so I was happy when I got it however it didn't come with the boots so I ended up going on Walmart and I got some wrestling boots black good good price kinda cheap but good price um those came in about a couple of days ago so I was happy when I got those in so you know it actually works perfectly for a cane costume so um let me go ahead and show you guys everything and then I will go ahead and put the suit on so let me go ahead and show you the mask first and foremost so if you guys can see here's the cane mask right here um, I ended up throwing it in some water, so right now it's kind of juicy, but it still works. It's perfect. I love it. Um, now the mask I had recently had made, got it made from um, Arkham Red Effects, which you can definitely catch him on Instagram as Arkham Red Effects, or if you want to message him on YouTube, his um, his username is Entity R6. So you guys can go ahead and um, ask him to make you guys a cane mask with hair or without hair. Now, if it is with, if it's with hair, it's going to be I think two fifty. Gonna be like maybe two hundred fifty dollars, I believe. And then if it's without the hair, it's gonna be like maybe a hundred something, possibly at most. If not, then it's probably gonna be a little bit at two hundred dollars. But like I said, it's a good price for a good mask that actually comes out perfectly like this. Um, this one is actually the K2K mask. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. Let me remove the hair out right quick, so you guys can kind of see the red, the um, the dark crimson red lines on the mask. So um, yeah, it came out perfect when he finished making it. Um, I had to do a little extra to it to make sure that the hair came out perfectly. So did that. Um, like I said. A lot of hair, love it, love it, love it. And then of course you got the. Um, let me turn this around right quick so you guys can see the straps too. Um, so there's the straps right there, and then of course it. So one size fits all. So it fits anybody. Be honest. Um, there's obviously a certain way you gotta put them on. So um, that I will be showing you guys too. But I want to go ahead and just let you guys know now. So the way to put this on is you want to go ahead and flip the hair in front of the mask. I know it's hard to see because um, I got my lamp right over here near my um, alarm clock. So a little bit dark and then mostly light. But anyways, yeah, what you want to do is you want to flip the hair over the mask. And then it, you don't want to kind of do that a lot. But what you don't want to do is get the hair on the mask, especially when it's already soaked in water because it ends up losing its color so you don't want to do that and right now as you can see I kinda had the hair dangling over the mask but it's not touching it so it's always a good thing but um anyways let me go ahead and show you guys how to put this on so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and loosen out the straps I would just loosen up the bottom two I'm sure you guys can't see it But yeah, you want to loosen up these straps right here. 
yeah you want to loosen up these straps right here and then there should be two on each side you want to go ahead and loosen out and then go ahead and put the mask on you want to make sure it fits well um, if you have to adjust all the other straps you can go ahead and do that um, it should already be adjusted if not then yeah go ahead and you know readjust to make sure it fits well perfectly on your head so that way it's not too tight but it's not too loose you know you want to make sure it fits on just right but um yeah that's how you want to go ahead and put that on um if you want to definitely keep the hair wet I would highly suggest you go ahead and um soak it in water but go ahead and throw some gel on it so that way it kind of stays wet the hair stays wet for I don't know how long it's usually going to be a long good long time so um yeah like I said you go ahead and talk to Entity R6 he'll definitely get you guys a mask um any mask is he'll make any mask whether it's the 97, 98, the K2K, the 2000, 2001, 2002 half mask cane either one he'll make those for you and like I said I'll go ahead and put on the suit so that way you guys can see exactly what it looks like so let me go ahead and get the suit and then just want to go ahead and let you guys know this is going to be a little mix match so the mask isn't going to match exactly with the suit but me personally I don't care let me go ahead and get the suit right quick okay so here's what you're gonna see when you go ahead and get the cane suit from Halloween costumes or eBay or Etsy here's what it's gonna look like it's gonna look just like this this is exactly how the bags gonna look exactly when you get it in the mail so like I said that's what this suit looks like and it doesn't come with the boots so I had to buy mine off of Walmart but it does come with the the suit the gloves the studded wristband and then the studded belt as well and then um, it does come with the mask as well but the wig doesn't come with it so that is actually sold separately so you have to buy that off the same website as you got this um, suit from but yeah the suit looks perfect let me go ahead and open this up I got mine in a size large um, to be honest, I think I kind of should have went with a medium. That way it's actually kind of tight on me. But nonetheless, it's still good. I don't mind it. So um, let me go ahead and show you guys everything. I just threw the suit down right quick. I'm going to go ahead and show that one last. But anyways. Um, here's the glove. And it should be your right-handed glove right here has studs on it and everything so it's perfect and it fits well it's comfortable so there's that you got the studs on the sides so there's that here you have this studded wristband fits perfectly so the way you want to put it on is hold it like this and then slide your arms through and then make sure it goes on your wrist but other than that yep that's basically how you put that on and then here you have the studded belt now the thing with the belt is it's kind of loose so it's the way that they have the belt set up is usually for like a large person me, I'm not really that large at all. I'm really not. I'm kind of skinny, but average. Skinny, but average. So what I did is I adjusted the Velcro, or I actually added some Velcro onto it. Um, I actually had some set right there. You probably can't see it. There you go. Yeah, so that's where I set the Velcro at. So um, when I go to put the belt on, I want to make sure that it's tightly fitted on me. Now, what I didn't do is I didn't put extra Velcro on the back, so that way the other side of the belt could fit on there easily too. So, um, after this video, I'm going to go ahead and do all that and then have that ready when I go to the Comic Con, which is actually in the next two weeks, April 15th on Sunday. So, if you guys are wanting to go, um, 
It's going to be at the Embassy Suites on JQ Hamish Drive, right near the um, Charlotte Motor Speedway, if you live in Concord. If you live in Charlotte, um, you can still get there. You'd have to leave at a certain time, especially if you're trying to get there like super early. But like I said, it's from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., so you have plenty of time to get there. You have plenty of time to make adjustments with your schedule. You have plenty of time to um, make arrangements to get up there as soon as you can and make time to have fun. Because they have a lot of stuff up there, so you really wouldn't want to miss it for the world. Especially if you're one of those people that like comics and animes and all that good stuff. That's definitely a um, place you want to go to, for sure. And the best part is the suit itself. So, here it is. Here is the cane suit right here. Um, so here, I know it's kind of hard to see my face because the light and then, of course, the um, suit kind of shadowing over my face, but it's okay. But yeah, so here you have the suit itself. So you have the jagged edges right there. Now the um, the top part is not how it usually is when... Kane wore it in 97 and 98 because he had it all the way up past his neck up to his um chin, up to his chin right here. So this one actually comes up almost like a regular shirt basically. Just like a regular shirt so it doesn't come all the way up here. So if you're one of those people that actually wants to have it just like Kane did back in 97 and 98 when he debuted in WWF or Wrestling Federation, what you want to do is... um. Especially if you're one of those people that like to um, stitch stuff, I would definitely go ahead and um, definitely get a, um, if, whether it's a regular shirt, whether it's a long sleeve shirt that has the little neck sleeve to it as well, I would definitely go ahead and cut that out and then possibly sew it on here so in that way the color matches with the suit. So you want to make sure you get like a dark black shirt just like this. So in that way, it fits perfectly on it. And you can look just like Kane. You want to make sure that you get the 97 and 98 Kane mask. Now, the one that came with this one is kind of ugly. So that's what you don't want to have. So you want to make sure that you get the best quality Kane mask you can get. So I would definitely recommend going to um, Arkham Red Effects on mess Facebook Messenger. So you can go ahead and message him on it. Um, you can check out his YouTube videos because he has some um, videos on his cane mask that he makes. He even has the 2012 cane mask when he came back to WWE after he choked slammed John Cena after his match with Mark Henry or during his match with Mark Henry Mark Henry when he returned. So yeah, you can see the jagged edges on this side of the pant legs, which is awesome. They did a fantastic job on the details as well as the um you can see the little laces. You can see the laces on the side of his, this pants too. So like I said, it's perfect. Really perfect. Now if you're really one of those people that likes to actually look like Kane and have the have it matched, get the 97-98 Kane mask for sure. Definitely get that one. The only reason I got this one is because of the fact that I liked it. But I knew that somewhere down the road I wasn't going to be able to get a costume. But... Luckily, I found Halloween costumes, and they actually had it back in stock. Finally, it took like maybe I think it, maybe, I think it was like maybe a year and a couple months, because they constantly had an estimate on when it was going to be back in stock. And that day came around, and it just wasn't back in stock. So I'm just literally sitting here trying to get the days going by, and finally it comes in. So I'm like, thank God. So happy for that. So yeah, that's the entire Kane costume. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put this suit on and I will be right back with you guys shortly. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Almost forgot. Let me go ahead and show you guys the boots too. Let me go ahead and show you guys the boots. So here are here's the box that I got it in when I got it from Walmart. Oh, actually bought it online, so it shipped over to my house, which is awesome. 
So I'm glad it came in. But, um, so yeah, here's how the boots come in. So they, they look just like this. Came in the bag. Um, make sure you get your size. If maybe a little bit smaller. If you if you can fit them. Um, if you're going for a cane costume, I would highly suggest that you um, go online and look for maybe like some smaller laced up boots. Same size, but just a little bit smaller. Just shorter down. Because when you put these on, they're a little bit taller than you would imagine it to be. So, um, yeah, that's the boots right there. So now I'm going to go ahead and put on the suit, and I'll be right back with you guys shortly, okay? All right.
and there you have it. I am the big red machine, Kane. But yes. Here you are. The big red machine is here. So, you can see. I don't have the, the little black lining stuff for my face, obviously. Which isn't too bad. I'm not worried about it. And then... Okay, I had to make sure the suit was on completely. But yeah. Now it's good so you guys can see. There you go. Yeah. So, the glove fits on, like I said, the glove fits on perfectly. The wristband is perfect. As big as King. Right when he started. Yeah, the belt fits on perfectly. Um, I said it's probably a little bit hard to see. Um, let me drop the camera down a little bit lower so you guys can see every everything on the suit. So yeah, there you go. Now you can see the entire suit. Like I said, the suit fits perfectly. It'd have been a lot better if, if um, like I said it'd been a lot better if the suit was on a little bit tighter. Um, I got the belt to go on perfectly, so that worked out kind of great. But anyways, yeah, that is the whole suit right here. So, like I said, if you guys ever want to go ahead and um, get a cane suit. I would definitely recommend going to Halloween costume instead of having to sit here and design it all yourself. Um, at least you got the basic parts of the suit. Um, if you want to repaint it to where he had the um, reverse suit, not the reverse symbiote, but the reverse suit, um, I would definitely recommend getting some um, spray paint, but make sure it works well with leather and costumes, obviously. So that way it doesn't fade off or tear or anything like that. But yeah, um, anyways, I don't have the music on. Um, so I figured it probably wouldn't, um, wouldn't have the best audio. So I figured I just wouldn't have it on. But, um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know that um I won't I actually won't be wearing this at the Comic Con on April 15th yeah I actually won't be wearing this at the Comic Con on April 15th so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till August comes around um, at least that way it'll be like the summertime and then you know it's nice out and then I can just wear it then because me having to wear it now, I actually had you had something else in mind that I was gonna wear. Um, and I think I already showed you guys in my other video of when I was doing the little workout video with Spider Man. That's the suit that I'm gonna wear when I go to the Comic Con this this um this month. So um, if you guys see me there, that's what I'm gonna wear. So uh, like I said, I'm gonna do a video. So I'll shoot up another video shoot with me. I'm actually gonna have my friends with me, so I'll also do. I'll also add them in as well. So 
it's going to be a good time. Can't wait. If you guys are wanting to go, definitely go to um, charlottecomiccon.com, and they'll give you all the information you need on there. But anyways, um, this has been Stimulator Addiction 22, a.k.a. Kane right now. So, I will see you guys when I see you. Hope you guys have a good night. Alright, it's been Stimulator Addiction 22. 22. Signing out. Peace. Oh yeah. Also, if you guys haven't already, go down to my YouTube channel right under this video and click subscribe if you haven't already. Um, definitely hit that like button as many times. Just click it and 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 just keep on clicking it. The more likes, the better. Um, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to go down to the comment section and ask any questions that need to be answered. I will definitely be here to um, answer any of your questions that you guys, guys might have. Um, and also, if you um, know some other people that want to subscribe or want to have or want to see just more videos, definitely hit the share button. Share, hit the share button and get more people on this YouTube channel because the more viewers we have the better and that is what builds up our symbiote addiction family so if you guys know some people definitely hit the share button get more people out here trying to watch this video or any other videos I've made um actually I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know something as well on um it'll be sometime in August I'm actually gonna post up another costume review video so this is going to be the last one for now until I can get that symbiote suit in. Um, I will definitely um, hit you guys up in the comments and let you know when it will be. But um, right now it's probably going to be a while before I post up another one for um, another Comic Con that I'm going to go to. But like I said, it's going to be in August. So I'll definitely have that one posted up before the Comic Con comes around in August. It's gonna be on the nineteenth and the twentieth. So um I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna keep you guys updated on everything. Um also um you can hit on my Instagram. I'm also on there. Um I'll also do my drawings. I will also do my pictures on my Comic Con as well. So that's why I'm gonna post all my pictures up on so if you guys ever want to check them out you can go on there. Um, if you have any questions about any requested drawings that you guys might want, because that's also, that's also what I'm going to be doing as well. So um, I'm also going to post up some drawings on here as well. So that way, if you guys ever want to have a request, you can um, hit me up in the comment section, and I will definitely go ahead and um, I will um, get. She's got. I'll um, definitely get back to you guys as soon as possible. So in that way, if you guys have anything you want me to draw, I can go ahead and do it. Um, it's usually going to take about maybe a couple of days to a week to finish. Um, if you want to, you can go ahead and go to my website. It's um, www.artpal, www.artpal.com slash CG Dynamic Arts 23. D-Y-N- a M I C A R T S twenty three and I will definitely go ahead and um have my drawings up there. That's actually what I'm gonna do in my next video. I'm actually going to um show you guys everything on that. So then that way you guys can see but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys on my phone because I have to do the video obviously on my laptop. So I will definitely go ahead and show you guys the website and everything I have on it. So then that way, if you guys ever want to check it out, you're more than welcome to do that. Because then that way I can make some more money and you guys can have the drawings that you guys always wanted to have. So that's what I'm going to do on my next video. So I will definitely keep you guys posted and updated on my next Comic-Con costume review as well as my drawings. So this has now been Symbiote Addiction 22 slash Kane right now. Signing out. So, Simulation 22. I'm leaving. And you guys have a wonderful night.